Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna do another favorites video. Let's get to it. So I'm gonna start off with fashion and have everything in this bag here. Oh, I had to move everything from my bedroom to my living room. And I have three things this month that I've been wearing nonstop. First one would be these American Apparel shorts, high-waisted shorts. They're so like stretchy and soft and so comfortable and I can wear them a million times without having to wash them and which seems kind of gross but who washes their bottoms ev after every single time you wear them nobody they're just so simple I like the cuffed like hem here and I it hits me perfectly on my waist and it just has just the right amount of stretch so that it, you know you're comfortable moving around and the pockets are huge, which is nice. You can fit my phone in it. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. And it's black, so you can wear it literally with anything. Seriously, can that thing just stop already? I'm just gonna try to talk over it. Okay, um, I think that's why I grabbed it the most this month because it's been so freaking hot lately and it's so easy to wear with any top, any shoes, whatever, so yeah. And then second thing would be these shoes. So I wear these a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Again, something black because it's so easy to wear. Although it's not all too practical, but it's really hot outside because my little piggies need some breathing and it gets a little gross if it's way too hot and I wear them in the heat but they're so easy to slip on, like literally no no thinking necessary. And it's an easy way to kind of just make your outfit just a look a little bit more professional, I guess, or just like it ups your outfit a little bit with just some simple like slide on mule thingy-majigs. Oh, and I got these, okay, so the first time I found these was at Nordstrom and I fell in love with them when I tried them on and of course the like display size was my size and it fit perfectly and I was like, you know what? Can I spend hundred dollars on a pair of shoes? That's just not my lifestyle, not yet. And then <laughs> Nordstrom had a sale, and there was an ad on my Facebook page, like on my home page. It's like they knew. How did they know? They knew that I tried those on, and they were forty percent off. So I got them for sixty dollars, which is still a lot for a pair of shoes, but. But I have spent $60 on a pair of shoes that I have purchased on consignment. So it was like, I mean, it's like I'm buying it in consignment, but you know, it's brand new. That's how I justify the purchase, all right? But I, I wear it so much that I got the money's worth um, for what I paid for. Next and last fashion, I fashion item <laughs> would be these sneakers. I have been looking for a summer sneaker for weeks maybe months, but I just knew I needed one. In my mind, I was like, I need to get a summer sneaker before the season starts. And I finally found the perfect pair and they are rag and bone, but no, I did not pay $200 for them, okay? I paid $50 for these. I got them at TJ Maxx. They're, it's my new favorite place to shop for high-end items, but not at the high-end price. Um, you just have to get really lucky. Um, Personally, I got to very lucky that day, and my mom was making fun of me because I literally could not talk. I was just like, but I could not speak. I was in awe, in awe with all the stuff that was there. Like, honestly, if you don't know the value of the brands of these items, you probably won't buy them and you wouldn't think that they're worth it. But if you are brand aware of like, the things that are there you are in heaven and you know that you're getting your money's worth especially in the clearance section yeah I got these in the clearance section so I got really really lucky but they still sell them like online and I also got another pair which I will end up showing probably at some point maybe do a review on it um, I just haven't gotten the chance to wear it all that often but these I wear pretty pretty often just cuz it's they're so casual and easy to wear so that's just like my theme right now casual easy to easy to wear easy to throw on or with anything kind of thing kind of thing but yeah in love with these shoes they're quite comfortable i mean it's a sneaker it's really flexible which i enjoy 
Um, although I do have a really high arch, so any shoe is really not all that comfortable when I wear them all day, but it gets me through the day and I'm not like limping back to my car. So pretty happy with that. And that wraps up the, is this still recording? Okay. The fashion section of my favorites. Now on to a beauty. Okay. Let me start off with my fave, 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 fave. Okay. It is the modern renaissance. Anastasia Beverly Hills, wait, no, how do I say this? The Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Now, I really begged my mother for this, okay? <laughs> because I could not afford $45 for a makeup palette, all right? But she felt I deserved it, so she bought it for me. I sound really spoiled when I'm saying this. I forced my mother to buy this for me. This is so beautiful, like, can we just, can we just, can we just appreciate that, please? I can't. It's the perfect everyday, and it has, like, the perfect, like, plums and berries and browns and just, like, orangey tone. I don't know. I'm wearing it on my eyes right now, and, I mean, using it takes practice for me personally because it's my first, like, expensive eye palette. I usually, you know, my last video, my last favorites video, I bought the e.l.f eyeshadow palette which was like two dollars okay and since I'm not too experienced in expensive eyeshadows I was like damn this shit is pigmented all right there was a lot of color payoff when I first put it on I was like ah obviously don't know how to use this but I have learned I have trained myself to be delicate to the touch when applying this eyeshadow but the colors I love because you can work with it in so many ways it has like two like shimmer shades most of it is matte um but it's just the perfect everyday eyeshadow even if you want to add a little bit of color to your face you can do that or if you want to stay neutral you can do that so i think that's why i like it so much and their brush is amazing okay i don't have a high standard for what brushes i use or like you know think is really good because i don't have all that many but based on the youtube videos i watch most brushes that come with palettes aren't very good, but I love this one. It's amazing. Amazing. And I love the, the velvety, crushed velvet like texture, but I keep it in the box because it was my first expensive eyeshadow, okay? I gotta preserve it. Next item would be this bad boy. Can you see yourself? Oh, that's my, that's my ghetto setup right there. The light turns on and off yeah yeah this is my new like vanity mirror and it's the perfect size it frames my face perfectly <coughs> and of course i have to sneeze and it gives me just the perfect amount of light um when i'm getting ready in my room because my desk is not at the window so i don't get much natural light so yeah super helpful and it's just a good vanity thingy it's by impressions vanity company i don't know i got it at home goods for ten dollars and the third and last beauty product is this ColourPop ultra satin lip uh, liquid lipstick and it is in the shade frickin frack and i mentioned this in my ColourPop haul that this is a really good like everyday thing for me and it is true i wear this almost every day <laughs> I just keep it in my purse and it just hangs out there whenever I feel like I need a little pick-me-up I just throw this on and voila and this is what it looks like I'm wearing it right now and this shade just goes well with my like closet so I think that's why I tend to pull this the most and yeah my favorite for now that wraps up my beauty favorites and now for the food <laughs> where did I put it though oh here it is my first food favorite is the fruit and nut apricot and almond disc. Um, it's by Trader Joe's, and I'm not really sure how to explain this, but it's good. All right, it's just the right amount of sweet that's not super overwhelming, and it's so easy to just toss in your bag. You don't have to worry about it melting, spilling, or like cracking, or like losing its shape. I don't know, I'm really paranoid about that stuff, especially with like chips and crackers in my purse. I hate when they break. But this, you don't even have to think about it. Don't even have to worry about it. You just throw it in your bag. It's not super filling or anything, but it will settle your stomach 
for a little bit if you start to get hungry. And it's quite, I mean, it's fruit and nuts, so can't really complain about that. It's better than having like a chocolate bar in your bag, right? And I just keep those in my purse or in my school bag. Uh, for emergencies, if I don't have time to eat anything, I'll always have that as backup. And then my second favorite is these sweet plantain chips from Trader Joe's. Super yummy, no sugar added. Mind blown. Two ingredients only. Plantains and palm oil in. Olean. Basically, it's another like formation of palm oil. <laughs> I googled it, I was like, what does this even mean? But it's made of palm oil, so it's just plantains and palm oil, that is it. No extra nasty crap that I can't read, okay? And it's cheap, it's like $2, and it's super yummy, and it like really gets rid of my sweet tooth. If I'm craving something super sweet, I just eat this, and problem solved, and it's just really yummy, I'm into it. I mean, this isn't the first time I've had it, but this month, this is my second bag. I've been like eating it a lot um, and I snack on it at work too. And it's just really delicious. And then my last random favorite, I mean, it might be gross to some of you, but I love using it, is this ear cleaner. If you guys aren't familiar with It's Judy's Life, she is a mommy vlogger, their daily vlogging family. And she was mentioning this flashlight ear pick and lately I have not the past like two months actually I haven't been using um, q-tips because well actually q-tips are actually first of all bad to use to clean your ears because you're just pushing the earwax deeper into your ears as you're like cleaning so that just freaked me out and stopped using it now I have this wonderful ear pick and it has a little light if you want to use that but since I like clean my own ears this light isn't very helpful or useful. I love it and it's a much cheaper alternative to q-tips, okay? You buy it one time. This was like four dollars on Amazon. You just clean off this once in a while. Just make sure you, you know, take off all nasty earwax and clean it. But you can reuse it all the time and you don't have to rebuy q-tips over and over again. And you just scoop out your earwax. It takes out, oh my god. The first time I cleaned them, I was like, this was in my ear. I was a little grossed out, but it was a very satisfying. I just love cleaning stuff like that. Is that kind of gross? <laughs> Sorry if that grosses you out. It scooped out so much earwax in there and it was amazing. It's a great alternative to Q-tips if you're looking for something to replace it. Super cheap and it works, okay? And it's, probably, it's like one of those cheapy Asian gadgets, you know? But hey, does the job. That is it. That wraps up this month's favorites. It was short and sweet. I um, only had a few things to share, but I didn't really use too many new, like things that I'm like obsessed with besides these guys. So I figured I'd share that with you. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more. I have a bunch of stuff planned for July since I'm not gonna be in school anymore. I will have so much more free time. I'm really truly gonna try to upload every Wednesday and Sunday. So please stay updated. Click the little ring bell thingy by my subscribe button so you get notified when I upload. And again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Um, it's just like, blah, blah, blah.